What up Salty Crew? Welcome back to another video. This one is highly requested because a lot of you compliment me on my skin, which, <laughs> wow, thank you so much. Seriously, I never thought I would be someone that would be complimented on by the way her skin looked without makeup on because growing up, I was not someone who had great skin at all. They called me pizza face in fifth grade. I was the first person to get acne at like nine, 10 years old. It was horrible. So I've had acne my entire life up until probably like 24, 25 years old. And it all changed when I changed my diet and I started exercising and sweating regularly and drinking a lot more water. So first and foremost, those three things are necessary if you wanna have nice skin. It doesn't matter what products you put on your face. If you are eating crap, you're not drinking water, you're not moving your body, getting those toxins out by sweat or other ways, then you're not gonna have great skin unless you're just genetically perfect. Cutting out dairy really helped my skin a lot. Also cutting out most gluten from my diet, anything that you are allergic to, could be soy, gluten, stuff like that. If you know that you react to it, I would cut that out of your diet. This obviously doesn't apply to everyone, but if you're sensitive to it, then I would just leave it out. Obviously, right before your period, you might get a few pimples here and there, but if you're constantly getting acne on your jawline or chin, that means you have underlying hormonal issues that you should address. If you're going through any sort of hormonal imbalance, check out my cycle syncing videos. Um, they're really, really helpful and they've helped me tremendously in regulating my cycle and balancing out my hormones. So if you're interested in that, make sure that you check out the description box and I'll leave a link here as well. Diet and lifestyle do play the major role here in how your skin looks and feels, but beauty skincare products are great for anti-aging and to just give you that extra boost that you need to feel extra confident and good about yourself and give you more hydration and just nourish your skin even more. So I'm here to share all of that stuff with you, my holy grail skincare items that I have been obsessed with. All of them, of course, are vegan and cruelty-free, and the majority of them have natural, non-toxic ingredients. So if you're into any of that and you wanna see what I use on my face and skin, then just keep on watching. Okay, let's start with face wash. So I have tried so many face washes in my day, I tell ya. And I still love to rotate every now and then to give new ones that I'm interested in a try, but there are a couple that I go back to continuously and I love them so much. The first one being from Osea, this is their Ocean Cleansing Milk, and guys, if you don't know about Osea, get on it. It's a female founded and owned company. They're based in Malibu, California. All of their products are organic, natural, cruelty-free, vegan, gluten-free, organic, non-GMO, and they use a lot of sea vegetables, seaweeds in their products, so everything is all natural, and it's sourced locally in California and in the ocean surrounding California. And full disclosure, for you guys, they did send me their products for free to try out, but they're not paying me to say any of this. This isn't sponsored, and they're not giving me commission off of how many people buy their products. So I'm literally telling you my honest thoughts about this. It's not biased in any way, but I love their products so much. If you are looking to go the more natural skincare route, beauty route, you need to check them out. First of all, their um, packaging is amazing. Amazing, and you can reuse it. It's all glass. It's beautiful to look at and it's high quality stuff So this ocean cleansing milk is really soothing for your skin if you have issues with redness You get irritated really easily. You will really like this one. It doesn't sud up like a normal face wash would it's um, like I said very soothing So if you're more of a sudsy you want to feel that like squeaky clean feel on your skin afterwards This is not that face wash. It feels more like you're rubbing like a cleansing lotion on your face. It's very moisturizing for your skin. It won't strip your skin of any of its natural oils. It's so nice, love this stuff. Okay, so Osea has amazing products and I think a lot of you can agree if you've tried them before, but they're on the pricier side because they are vegan, cruelty-free, and they use all natural products. You will find in the natural beauty world that those products are more expensive than traditional stuff, unfortunately, but that's just how our economy is set up. But if you're looking for something more on the budget friendly side, I really love this face wash. It's from Alba Botanica, the Acne Dote 
Maximum Strength Deep Pore Wash. Um, oil free, it fights breakouts, it has, salicyl salicyl <laughs> it has salicylic acid in it, which is great for people who have acne prone skin. I really love this. It suds up, it leaves you feeling very minty and fresh. I'm obsessed with this stuff. When I first started using it, I was like, oh my gosh, why don't more people know about this? It's so good and it's a vegan cruelty free brand. They're great, highly recommend this. I don't remember exactly how much this is. I'm pretty sure it's like in the eight to $10 price range and you can usually get it at like a health food store. I get mine at Sprouts and um, I'm obsessed. Okay, so next up we have toners. So I love these, they're from Osea again. This one is the C Vitamin Boost and then this one is the C Minerals Mist. This one right here is more for oily prone skin. If you are having lots of breakouts, you're in a breakout season of your life, use this one. This one's more for like everyday general stuff. Um, they're both very hydrating. They feel really good on your skin. I love to spray them on, mist myself a little bit, and then just massage it all over my face. It feels amazing and it's so refreshing. And I actually like to do it multiple times a day. So I'll do it in the morning, I'll do it in the afternoon, and I'll do it at night as well. An inexpensive toner that you can actually make yourself is just apple cider vinegar and water. Mix them together, spray them on your face, rub it in, wipe it off with a cotton pad, whatever you wanna do, and it does wonders for your skin. Apple cider vinegar will literally save the world. It's so good for you. It's really, really good for your skin. And I even like using it in my hair, like in between washes. I do like an apple cider vinegar rinse. So if you're into DIYing your beauty products, you should definitely try that. Next up, we have moisturizers. Now I have tried every moisturizer under the sun. I have really oily skin. It's kind of like oily to combination skin. And I'm very particular about my moisturizers. I want them to be nourishing and actually deeply moisturize my face, but not be too greasy or oily. So I've tried the gamut. I've tried all of them. And these are the two that I absolutely love. First, we have Dermalogica. This is a great brand. It's vegan, cruelty free. Um, it's a little bit on the higher end side, but it's amazing. This stuff really, really works. If you want something that's more on the like heavy duty side, <laughs> check out Dermalogica. They have amazing products and I love their, this is their active moist moisturizer. So good. I usually put this on during the day because at night I use oils, um, but this one really love. It doesn't leave me oily, so I'm not like shiny throughout the day but at the same time, it really does moisturize. And then next up, we have another Osea product. This is the Atmosphere Protection Cream. I really love this one. It smells amazing, first of all. Oh my gosh, it smells so good, you guys. Seriously, what the heck? Oh, all their products smell amazing. It's very light, but honey, it gets the job done. Next up, we have eye cream. I use this one from The Body Shop. It's called Drops of Youth. I really love it. The formula is great. I only use it at night before I'm about to go to bed, and I just rub it around my eye like so. Having an eye cream is crucial, especially if you're in your late 20s because it helps you kind of avoid the dryness that you get around your eyes and the crow's feet. I also really love Body Shop stuff in general because their whole store is vegan and cruelty free and they have good stuff, I'm a fan. Another eye cream that I really love is from Kiehl's. It's their avocado eye cream, Obsessed. It's really thick and luxurious, so if you have a Kiehl's store near you or you wanna order it online, highly recommend that one as well. Okay, now onto serums and oils. So, it is very important for each and every one of you, yes you, to get Hyaluronic Acid Serum. Hyaluronic Acid is so good for your skin and don't be afraid of the word acid. It's an all natural, product, vegan, cruelty-free. Pretty much, I think most brands of hyaluronic acid are vegan and cruelty-free. It's so moisturizing for your skin. It takes away fine lines and wrinkles. It helps lighten those acne scars and dark spots and hyperpigmentation. So if you have any of that, honey, you gotta get a hyaluronic acid. So this one is from Osea. I really, really love it. It comes in this cute little bottle and you press it down like this and release it like that and you only need maybe like one and a half drops of it. I rub it on my face morning and night. This one is just a really high quality one with really great ingredients. You can find more inexpensive ones online as well, but if you're looking for the real deal, definitely turn to Osea because they know what's up. I'll leave links down in the description box below so you can check out other hyaluronic acids that will fit your budget, but guys, they're so important and really vital to any basic skincare 
skincare routine. Now on to one of my favorite skincare items, oil. You guys, the power of oil is so amazing. I was so afraid to put oil on my skin because I have oily skin. I have oily skin, so I thought, why would I put oil on my skin if my skin is already oily? Here's the thing, if your skin is very oily throughout the day, that means it's screaming for moisture. The oil in your skin is coming out because it's trying to overcompensate for the lack of moisture. So if you have oily skin, honey, you need to moisturize, especially with oil. Now I only use oil at night, so I'm not going out in public with a greasy, shiny face, but I'm telling you, if you massage oil into your face at night before you go to sleep and you lay on your pillow and you just wake up like Cinderella the next day with the birds singing and deers outside your window just saying, hey girl, your skin looks amazing. It's really, it's phenomenal. Your skin will look like it just took a drink of water the next day. There are tons of different oils that you can use on your face. A lot of people swear by jojoba oil, coconut oil. Here's the thing, those two oils break me out. I only use coconut oil to take off my eye makeup and that's it. I do not use it to moisturize whatsoever. It will clog your pores. Some people, it doesn't clog their pores and if that is you, then do your thing, honey. But for me, it's too heavy. I really love hemp seed oil. This one is really great if you break out using jojoba or coconut oil. Another good one is squalene oil, which sounds weird, but <laughs> it's the oil that basically mimics the oil that your skin naturally produces. You wanna make sure the one that you get is plant-derived, not animal-derived. I love hemp seed oil. Well, both of them, hemp seed and squalene oil, are very inexpensive. That's the thing with using face oil, is that they're so inexpensive that you really have no excuse not to use them. They're very accessible to everyone and I'm so obsessed. This is probably the number one thing that has changed my skincare game. Next up, we have exfoliation, which is important in any skincare routine. So I love this one, it's from The Body Shop. It's their Vitamin C Glow Boosting Microdermabrasion Scrub. I really like this one a lot. The little scrubby things are super small, so I feel like they get deeper in the nooks and crannies of my face rather than like big ones. It's brightening and helps with dark, dark spots on your face and I'm a big fan. So one thing that I have started incorporating in my routine is sunscreen. Guys, if you are not using sunscreen on your face every day, not just when you go to the beach, every single day before you put on makeup, before anything, even if you're only out in the sun for like 10 minutes, you need sunscreen on your face. It's beneficial for everyone, but especially if you have acne scars like me, you don't want those acne scars to get darker and they get darker when you go into the sun and if you're not wearing sunscreen it makes them even darker it's also really good to use sunscreen because hello skincare and also it'll just help the quality and look and texture of your skin be young and youthful for as long as possible so you know those old ladies or even ladies or men who are in their 40s and 50s who just have <sighs> Not the best looking skin. It's really dark and tan and leathery looking. It's just not very cute. And that's because they didn't use sunscreen or they're just out in the sun all day. And if you wanna do that, totally fine. I'm just not that type of person. And also, I want my skin looking fresh. I started using this sun bum one and I gotta tell you, it's not my favorite and I only put it in here so I could mention sunscreen in this video. But I'm not a huge fan of it because it leaves me feeling greasy. And like I said before, I don't like that. And I put it on during the day, so I'm not a huge fan of going out in my day looking like a greasy, oily mess. And that's kind of what it does for me. But I just bought it because it was vegan and cruelty free. If you guys have another suggestion of a good face sunscreen that is vegan and cruelty free, let a sister know. With all that being said, whatever you do, I don't care what sunscreen you use, just make sure you're using sunscreen every day, especially on your face. All right, last but not least we have face masks so I've tried so many face masks in my life I always go back to this one because it's all natural it works and it's cheap this is the Aztec secret healing clay you've probably seen it all over social media all over the internet guys this stuff is no joke you can get it on Amazon for like six or eight bucks I don't really remember I'll leave the link below but guys it works wonders you can do so much with this stuff you mix it with apple cider vinegar and water until it forms 
becomes a paste like consistency and you can put it on your face as a face mask you can even put it on your arms underarms or uh, armpit mask which I like doing every now and then cuz you know shit gets built up under there and then you can also use it as a hair mask if you want to it just has so many amazing qualities I love this stuff so much it's just really versatile and it'll last you a long time all right so those are my favorite holy grail skincare products I really hope you enjoyed this video let me know what you think in the comments below do you use any of these products what products should I try out next I'm always on the hunt for those good good skincare products and if you want to check out Osea Malibu I will leave all their info down in the description box they do have free shipping when your order is over $75 so make sure you check them out they're such an amazing company guys take care of yourself this week eat good food and I will see you in the next one Bye.